Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how long a 12V lithium battery can run a TV and why there is more to it than you think. I will also share a tip on how to make it more efficient. I'm Nick, author of Off-Grid Solar Power Simplified. Let's get started. We can easily find the power consumption of your TV. Look at the back where you will find the label. If you cannot find it, look in the manual or online. If you still cannot find it, use an energy consumption meter or smart plug. I will link some in the description. Let's say your TV uses 50 watts. If you run this TV for one hour, it will consume 50 watt hours. How much power does your TV consume? Let us know in the comments so we can learn from each other. What people often forget is the idle consumption and the efficiency of the inverter. My 600 watt inverter has an idle power draw of 20 watts. Now 20 watts doesn't say us anything on the time scale. That's why we also have to multiply it by one hour to get 20 watt hours. We will include idle power consumption in our formula later on. The inverter converts DC power to AC power. But this is not 100% efficient. Most inverters have an efficiency of 90%. Remember the TV uses 50 watt hours? We have to multiply it by the efficiency of the inverter. 90% becomes a factor of 1.11. So we become an hourly power consumption of 56 watt hours to run the TV. Are you still with me? After this step, we are going to put everything together in one calculation. Now we have to calculate how much power a lithium battery holds. We take the nominal voltage of the battery and multiply it by the 100 amp hour capacity. We have 1280 watt hours of usable energy. Normally, I recommend using 80% of the battery capacity. But cycling it to 100% will still get you 5000 cycles with an 80% capacity retention. That means 13 years if you cycle the battery every day. So you will cycle the battery 100% to increase usable capacity. By the way, if you have a 12 volt 100 amp hour lead acid battery, then this becomes a formula. You will have 600 watt hours of usable capacity. Now we will put everything together to get the final verdict. Our TV consumes 56 watt hours, including the inverter efficiency. The inverter idle power consumption is 20 watt hours. And we have a battery capacity of 1280 watt hours. The total consumption per hour is 56 watt hours plus 20 watt hours equals 76 watt hours. And you already guessed what we have to do next. We divide the total battery capacity by the consumption per hour. 1280 watt hours divided by 76 watt hours equals 16.8 hours of total runtime before the battery shuts down. To find out how many minutes 0.8 is, we use the following formula. We get 16 hours and 48 minutes. You can repeat all these calculations with your own values. Larger inverters or hybrid inverters use more idle power than 20 watts. How can we make this more efficient? The inverter converts the DC to AC and the TV converts it back to DC. Not very efficient. If your TV has a power brick, you can get a DC to DC converter. Take a look at the specifications of the power brick. It will say something like this. This means you need a 12V to 19V DC boost converter that can handle 57 watts. If your TV doesn't have a power brick, then you cannot do this. The DC to DC converter also has a 90% efficiency, just like the inverter we get a consumption of 56 watt hours. By applying the same formulas, we get a total runtime of 22.8 hours. Six hours or 35% more than if we use an inverter. If you want free off-grid solar diagrams with wire and fuse sizes, check the first link in the description and watch these videos next.